Hi students, today we're going to do another math strategy to help us solve math word problems. The strategy we're going to be using today is compensation. I'll teach you what that is, but let's know that today you will use the compensation strategy to solve math problems. Let's have a look at what compensation means. If we think of the word compensation, generally it means that if somebody uh, is owed something, then we are compensated that. So they are given that. If they have something taken away from them, they are given that. For example, if someone's house is burned down by somebody who does a criminal act of lighting a fire, then that person has to compensate the owner of the house by giving them money to build a new house. When we talk about compensation with maths though, what we're talking about is making a number round to its nearest whole number. For example, if we had the number 68, we might compensate that number up to 70. But if we give it to, we have to take it away later on. If we have the number 399, we might compensate that number up to 400, but if we give it one, we have to take it away later. Let's have a look at what that looks like in a question. Let's say we have the question 2 times 68. Now you know that when we multiply by 2, we use the double strategy. But doubling 68 is a little tricky, I'm sure you'll agree. So what we can actually do is turn 68 into 70, because it's close to 70. We need to remember, though, that we have to take that away later on. So instead of 2 times 68, we can say 2 times 70. Now that's easy, that's 140. But we know that's not our answer, because in actual fact, we were asked 2 times 68. So we can't leave it there. We did give 2 to 68 to make it 70. Now we have to take it away. We know that the difference is 2. We added 2 to 68 to make 70. So what we have to do then is work out 2 times, because that's what we're doing, the difference, which is 2. That comes from up here. 2 times 2 is 4. So then what we can do is 140 take away 4 comes from over here. And it'll give us our answer of 136. So we know that 2 times 68 is 136. What we did, if we remember back, is we compensated 68 up to 70. Because that was easy to do our times 2 or double strategy with. Then we discovered that the difference between 68 and 70 was 2. So we worked out 2 times that 2 to be 4. And then we took that 4 away from our 140. That gave us our final answer of 136. Let's have another look at a different example. Let's say, for example, that we were given the number 399 multiplied by 4. You know that when we multiply by 4, our strategy is double it, then double it again. But if we look at 399, we can see that it's really close to 400. And it's easy to double it, double it again. Whereas if we were working on 399, that would be hard to double it, then double it again. So I'm going to do 400 times 4. Now when I double 400, it's 800. And when I double it again, it's 1600. But now we have to work out, what's the difference? How did we get our 399 up to 400? Well, we added 1. So we have to work out 
what that is when we multiply it by 4. Well, you're probably saying right now that's really easy. 1 times 4 is 4. So to compensate, remember, we give, but then we have to take back. So now what we have to do is take our 1600, and we have to take away that difference, the 4. 1600 take away that 4 is going to give us 1596. Again, let's just have a look at how we did that. First of all, we turn 399 into 400. And then we multiplied that by 4 by doubling it and doubling it again. But remember, we can't do 400 times 4 because the number was actually 399 times 4. So we have to work out the difference between the 399 and the 400, which was 1. And we multiply that by 4, which gave us the answer 4. So then we take that 4 away from 1600, which gave us the answer 1596. It's a pretty tricky strategy. Let's do one together. We're going to do 4 times 219. Press pause and write that down on your whiteboard. Terrific. Well, straight away, we can see that we're doing times 4. What strategy is that, everyone? That's correct. Double it, then double it again. But 219 is a little difficult. So what we're going to do is compensate. We're going to turn our 219 into something so it's easier to do that strategy with. Write down the number that you think we can do, we can compensate 219 into. Press pause and do that now. That's correct. We can turn 219 into 220. And then it's easier to double it and double it again. Press pause and double it, then double it again. Doing that is easy. Double the 2 is 4, double the 2 is 4, double the 0 is 0. We have 440. But if we go back now and think about, well, what's the difference between our 219 and our 220? Put a little line here and write down what the difference is. That's correct. The difference is 1. So now we have to do 1 multiplied by 4. Really easily, the answer is 4. What we have to do now, because we've given 219 1 to make 220, we now have to take that away. We have to take 4 of them away because we've multiplied by 4. So let's write 220... Uh, sorry, let's not write that. Let's write 440 take away 4. You can solve that and show me. That's right, it's 436. Let's have a look at what our steps are. Step 1 is to compensate and then solve. Step 2 is to work out what we have to take back. Step 3 is to take that back. Let's have a look at another one and continue to do this together. Let's do 2 times 197. Remember that first step is to compensate and solve. Press pause and have a go at that. That's correct. You should have turned 197 into 200, doubled that and it would have turned into 400. Remember, step two is to find out the difference. Do that now. The difference was three. And so we did three multiplied by two, and that would give us six. Remember, step three was to compensate, was to take back what we've given. Press pause and do that now. That's right, it's going to equal 400 
Take away our 6, which we worked out over here, which would be 394. It's time for you to do one by yourself now. It'll be 5 times 47. Remember, step 1 is to compensate and solve. Step 2 is to work out the difference. And step 3 is to take back what you've given. Press pause and do that now. Oop, I wrote that down wrong. It's not 5 times 40, it's 5 times 47. Press pause and do that now. Let's have a look. We should have turned the 47 into 50. And when we multiply by 5, we know that first we multiply by 10, and then we halve it. So 50 times 10 would be 500, half of that would be 250. The next step was to find out the difference. The difference is 3, so I'm going to multiply 3 by 5, and that is 15. My last step now is to take back what I've given. I gave 5, that's 3, and when I multiplied that by 5, it gave me 15. So I'm going to take that back. 250, take away 15 is 235. That's what we should have had. Remember, this is called the compensation strategy. It's called compensation because we give and we take away. You're going to continue using the comp compensation strategy now to solve some other maths questions. Mr. White's there to help you for this. So put your hand up if you do need assistance.